Excavation Safety Hello everyone, welcome to Funny EHS Info, a learning platform for safety. Today, we are going to discuss excavation safety, a critical aspect of construction safety. Excavation work, though essential, carries significant risks. In this session, we will cover the hazards, control measures, protective systems, and key safety points related to excavation work. What is excavation? Excavation refers to any man-made cut, cavity, trench, or depression formed by earth removal. A trench is a narrow excavation where the depth exceeds the width, but the width is not greater than 15 feet. Hazards associated with excavation Excavation work comes with a variety of hazards. 1. Underground utility services, such as cables and pipelines. 2. Improper access egress, making entry and exit unsafe. 3. Use of tools in poor condition, leading to accidents. 4. Vehicle traffic near excavation edges. 5. Unstable backfilled trenches or poor soil stability. 6. Personnel inside deep excavations exposed to multiple risks. 7. Presence of toxic or explosive gases and oxygen deficiency. 8. Risk of cave-ins or side collapses. 9. Ingress of groundwater, destabilizing the excavation. 10. Inadequate lighting, causing poor visibility. 11. Risk of falling objects. 12. Multiple activities in excavation zones, creating hazards. Equipment used in excavation and their safety measures. Excavation requires the use of both heavy machinery and hand tools. Each piece of equipment plays a specific role and requires strict safety measures. Heavy equipment used in excavation. 1. Excavators used for large-scale digging and earth removal. Inspect hydraulic systems for leaks or malfunctions. Ensure operator cabins are safe with functional rollover protective structures, ROPs. Operate within safe load limits to prevent tipping. 2. Backhoes, ideal for small-scale trenching and digging. Do not overload the bucket to avoid instability. Operate only on stable ground and maintain a proper center of gravity. 3. Bulldozers, used for leveling and clearing the site. Avoid working too close to excavation edges to prevent cave-ins. Regularly inspect the blade and tracks for wear and tear. 4. Dump trucks, transport excavated materials to disposal or storage areas. Maintain a safe distance from excavation edges during dumping. Ensure the truck bed is lowered when not in use to prevent tipping. Hand tools used in excavation. 1. Shovels and spades for precise digging, particularly near underground utilities. Use tools with insulated handles when working near electrical cables. Avoid sudden force to prevent injuries like sprains or muscle strain. 2. Picks and mattocks for breaking up compacted soil or rocks. Ensure a firm grip on the handle and avoid using excessive force. Inspect tools for cracks or splinters in wooden handles before use. 3. Crowbars used for prying and loosening compacted soil. Wear gloves to avoid hand injuries. Position the crowbar correctly to prevent it from slipping. 4. Hammers and mallets for breaking rocks or driving stakes. Use goggles to protect against flying debris. Ensure hammer heads are securely attached to the handle. General safety tips for tools and equipment. Maintenance and inspection. Regularly inspect tools and machinery for wear, damage, or defects. Training. Ensure all operators and workers are trained in the proper use of equipment. Storage. Store tools in designated areas to avoid tripping hazards. PPE requirements. Workers must wear gloves, helmets, 
and steel-toed boots when handling equipment. Protective techniques, sloping, shoring, and shielding. To prevent cave-ins and protect workers, the following systems are used. 1. Sloping Sloping involves angling the excavation walls to prevent collapses. The slope angle depends on soil type, moisture, and environmental conditions. Types of soils and their corresponding slopes. Stable rock, vertical walls are acceptable. Type A soil, 3 fourth, 1, 53 degrees slope. Type B soil, 1, 1, 45 degrees slope. Type C soil, 1 half, 1, 34 degrees slope. Reduces pressure on excavation walls and minimizes cave-in risks. 2. Shoring Shoring systems support trench walls to prevent soil movement. Common types include Timber shoring, wooden supports for small-scale projects. Hydraulic shoring, aluminum hydraulic systems for flexibility and strength. Pneumatic shoring, air-powered systems for specific applications. Inspect shoring systems regularly. Use in trenches with unstable soil or adjacent structures. 3. Shielding Shielding involves using trench boxes to protect workers from cave-ins. Trench boxes, prefabricated structures made of steel or aluminum. Usage Guidelines Ensure trench boxes fit snugly in the excavation. Backfill the space between the trench box and excavation wall to prevent lateral movement. Provides direct protection for workers and reduces excavation risks. Hazardous atmosphere in excavations. Excavations deeper than 4 feet must be tested before entry to ensure worker safety. Key checks include Oxygen deficiency Levels below 19.5% are dangerous and require immediate corrective actions, such as ventilation or respiratory protection. Combustible gas concentration, high levels can result in fires or explosions. Regular gas testing is essential. Hazardous substances, check for harmful gases, vapors, or other substances that could endanger workers. Precautionary measures. Ensure proper ventilation or use respiratory protection when hazardous gases are detected. Equip workers with emergency escape plans and necessary training. Never allow entry until the atmosphere is tested and deemed safe. Underground services damage. Digging into underground utilities can result in fires and explosions from ruptured gas pipelines. Flooding from damaged water or sewer pipes. Soil contamination from ruptured fuel lines. Loss of communication or power due to severed cables. Electrocution risks from live electrical lines. Best practices to prevent utility damage. Conduct surveys, use cable detectors and refer to as-built drawings. Route markers and warning tapes. Identify and follow markers on site. Dig trial holes. Confirm the location of underground services by careful manual digging. Dig alongside lines. Excavate parallel to cables or pipelines, not directly above them. Designate an observer. Have a trained spotter guide the equipment operator during digging. Standards and specifications. All excavation activities must have approved permits. Hard barriers must be 1.2 meters high with reflective tapes for night visibility. Trenches deeper than 1.2 meters require protective systems like shoring or sloping. Soft barricades, such as warning tapes, must be positioned at least 2 meters from the excavation edge. Ladders or ramps should comply with OSHA 1926.1053 standards. Ramps must have a gradient no steeper than 1.4. Regular inspections are mandatory for damage or deformation. Proximity to utilities, 
mandatory use of cable detectors and trial pits for underground utilities. Conclusion Excavation safety is non-negotiable. By understanding hazards, applying protective systems like sloping, shoring and shielding and adhering to equipment safety standards, we can prevent accidents and ensure a safe working environment. Plan, protect and proceed. Excavation safety saves lives. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness. If you have any questions and requirements, please comment in comment box.